What's up everyone, it's Elliot here. My intention with this video is just to have a bit of a back and forth discussion about something that's been on my mind lately with regards to film reviewing. The subject in question is film ratings and film scores and whether they are beneficial or detrimental to the whole film criticism process. Up to now, I've used film scores in my own reviews in the form of star ratings out of five. Now these do definitely serve a purpose. They are a bite-sized look at a film and if someone gives one star out of five to a film, you know that film is probably not a good one in their opinion. Whereas if someone gives four or five stars to a film, you know that they really liked that film and that it probably is worth seeing. The downside to this, of course, is that you don't get the bigger picture. And obviously film is itself a subjective art form so many different people will take different things away from a film. Someone's favourite film could be someone else's least favourite film. I could give five stars to a film and someone else could give one star to the same film and have equally valid reasons for doing so. What I'm getting at here is if I'm doing a full length review on YouTube like I've been doing since last October, is it necessary to give a score at the end of the video or have you already gleaned whether I like it or not from the words that come out of my mouth. I feel like someone is much more likely to go and see a film after listening to a review if they like what I've said about a film, not based on the score that I give at the end of the video. Now this is not a new topic on the subject of film criticism. It's been around for ages and you see it on certain websites like IMDB and Rotten Tomatoes and Letterboxd and all of those sites use ratings that users can apply to a film that they've seen. However, this is not a foolproof method at all. If you go on a website like IMDB and you look at the top 250 films, it's notorious for having films that are very popular towards the top, but not necessarily the best films ever. Last time I checked the website, the top film on there was The Shawshank Redemption. And while I do think that's a good film and it has a very sturdy screenplay, I do not think it's the best film ever by any means. I don't even think it would be in my top 100 films. But the fact that it's number one on there, I've heard people say to me, The Shawshank Redemption is the best film ever. And I don't even think that's their own opinion. They are basing that and justifying that from IMDb. Films like The Shawshank Redemption are rated so highly on there because of an aggregate of people's opinions. Many, many people have just rated that film very highly, but it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone thinks the film is that great. The same goes for Rotten Tomatoes as well. If a film on Rotten Tomatoes has 50% on there, that is seen as not a good score for a film. But all that means is 50% of people that reviewed it did not like it, but 50% of people did like it. Now that might sound bad to you that half of the people didn't like the film, but if you think of it in these terms, that 50% that did like the film could think it's the best film they've ever seen, and the 50% of people that didn't like it could just think it's okay, not the worst film they've ever seen. Compare that to a film that has 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. All that means is everyone that reviewed it liked it, it does not mean that everyone who reviewed it thought it was the best film ever. And that is what people think when they see a 100% score on the website. So you can start to see why film ratings and film scores might not be the best thing for film criticism. Sure, they give an indicator about whether a film is good, but whether it's a star rating or a rating out of 10 or a percentage rating, they do not give a bigger picture on whether the film is good. All that these ratings and scores aim to do is quantify, or in other words, turn into numbers, someone's opinion on a film, which when you think about it, is not the best thing. If you take film out of the equation and use something else as the subject, let's say people, it is incredibly hard to quantify your opinions on other people. We don't go around giving scores to people and saying this person is 80% good, or this person is two out of five in personality. We just don't do that. And why should we do it to films when film is something else that is subjective? It is not an objective medium. To boil it all down, I want to know what your opinion is on ratings and scores and whether you find them useful 
or detrimental to working out whether a film is worth seeing. Films cost people money and time to go and see, so I understand that people want to know a bit about a film before they invest. But do you think it's better to hear a few sentences about someone's opinion on a film, or just hear a number out of 10 or out of 5? The reason this has been on my mind is because, as you know, I recently got back into film reviewing, and the other day I reviewed Tony Erdman, the new film by Marin Arde. And I loved it, but I only gave the film 4 stars out of 5. And on reflection, I feel like I should have given it 5 stars out of 5. And it's been tormenting me, but that's crazy, isn't it? Why should it bother me so much what number I give to a film? Anyway, I feel like I could talk at length about this subject, so I'm going to cut myself off here. But please do let me know your opinions on the subject in the comments below because I want to know whether I should keep doing star ratings going forward, or whether I should just abandon them altogether. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you like them, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos about films very soon.